Hey everyone, it's me, Shannon. I know you're wondering what in the heck's going on, right? Okay, so here's the deal. I talked to a couple trainers at the gym and they highly encouraged me to share some recipes with you guys of things that I'm eating um, because my whole journey, it's not just the exercise, it's all encompassing. So that's what we're going to do. I call these taco zucchini boats. Um, they're very yummy. And um, basically, you will need, and I will leave a somewhat of a recipe in the down box. Um, so basically, you need one zucchini for every person in your house because you're going to cut them in length. And then you're going to scoop out the middles. Um, so just like this, just cut the little tippy off. Cut them straight down the middle lengthwise. I seem to have forgotten my middle spoon. Okay, spoon. I will be right back. Okay, so got my middle spoon. Now what you're going to do is take and scoop out the middles. Now you want to keep them because you want to cook with them. You don't want to waste any of that good zucchini. But you want it nice and hollow so you can put your ground meat in there. Um, now, I use ground turkey when I make these. Um, I don't eat with, I normally don't eat ground beef anymore. Um, it's normally ground turkey for me. But you could easily use um, ground chicken. Uh, ground beef works fine too. Um... So after doing that, you're going to want to take and got my onion right here. Get an onion. I'm going to do, I'm going to chop up probably about half of this onion, maybe a little bit less than half. Um, Ooh, that's a pungent onion. Ah, he's a letting me know he's there. So we're going to take this off. Okay, how many of you out there hate cutting onions? I know I do. It's my least favorite thing in the world. But I'm just going to slice some big slices that way. Lay them down. And cut them up. Throw them in my pan. Um... my pan on sorry guys I trying to do this and I have onion eyes mm. Now, this isn't all I'm making. I've, I've got to make five of these, so um, i got to scoop out some more zucchini. But um, you just saute your onions and your zucchini bits with your meat, and um, that's what I'm going to do. 
when we come back, I'll pick it up. I will show you what to do after your meat's cooked and your zucchinis are prepped and everything. Okay, so this is what you want your ground beef to look like. You've got your, your zucchini innards and your um, ground meat of choice. Mine here is ground turkey. Um, you'll also want to line a baking sheet and line up your zucchini. So our next step would be better if I took the lid off, I think. Um, this is going to make a mess. So, okay, so uh, for seasoning wise, you're going to want to get whatever taco seasoning you like. It could be homemade. It could be one of these store-bought. It's whatever you prefer. So take two tablespoons. Now remember, everything you add to your food adds calories. So this, for this, it for two tablespoons, it's 20 calories. Okay? Sprinkle two tablespoons. And then I have a fourth a cup of water here measured already and we're gonna wink. actually I think that might have been a little more than a fourth of a cup but oh well we'll make it work and you're gonna stir it I'm not adding any extra salt because this has got a lot of salt in it already. Um, yeah, 430 grams, milligrams of sodium and only four grams of carbs in taco seasoning. And people don't think to, oh, my spoon fell in. Oops. Um, people don't think about that. It, you know, the oil that we add, the seasonings we add, unless, you know, if they don't say, you know, zero, then you're adding some sort of calories. So I'm going to pause it here and, um, let this cook and reduce and I will show you the next step. Okay, so... After you've let it reduce and, and everything, what you're going to do, you're going to take and take a spoon, take each one of your zucchinis, and you're going to fill them up. So, just like that. Now, I'm going to head off camera and do the rest of these so that I don't get burned, but when I get back, we'll show you the next step. Okay, so as you can see, I've got them scooped back into the, I've got the innards scooped back in along with the ground meat and taco seasoning. What you're going to do, you're going to take your favorite kind of cheese. I've just got extra sharp cheddar. It's what I have on hand. You can get whatever you prefer. And you're going to sprinkle them. I'm sprinkling everybody else's pretty heavily with cheese. My two will not have as much cheese, but we'll have a little. Put them in the oven um, at, I say three, between 350 and 400 for about 30 minutes till your zucchini is soft 
and your cheese is bubbly and melty and ooey gooey. And there you go. You have a quick, easy meal that's pretty much under 400 calories. You figure, okay, your calories for your zucchini, which I don't know off the top of my head how much is in a zucchini, but a fourth of a cup of cheese is 110, and you have 20 calories for your um, uh, your taco seasoning, and then your calories for your meat. So, and one of these taco boats doesn't have 200 calories worth of meat. So I'm going to put these in the oven. Next thing I will show you is what they look like when they come out of the oven. Um, but all I'm really doing is serving them with some uh, ready rice for everybody else. And I'm going to have some vegetables. I forgot to get um, some Spanish uh, rice cauliflower for myself. So while everybody's enjoying Spanish rice, I will be enjoying more vegetables. But that's it. That's um, the easy um, dinner. And like I said, I will show you once it comes out of the oven.